Good morning folk, um, welcome back. As you can see, I'm, I haven't, still haven't got a train room at the moment or a modeling room. Um, we're still doing the house renovations, uh, which will be going on for quite a while. But anyway, I thought I'd do a bit of a clip because as you can see in front of you on the screen, I've started another project or another small micro. And this one is ON18. Um, so I've been building some um, stock, some wagons. Uh, some of it I've had before, um, but I've gone back to the same guy and I've gone back to a gentleman on the, um, you can find on Facebook and on the internet quite easily, called Calvin Witt. Now Calvin produces these sort of things. So they're just, I think he calls them, because um, he, he's in America, I think they call these flatbeds, or he, I think he refers to these as flatbeds. So, um, strip of these, I think you buy them in, eight, well you can buy them in however many you like, but I think I bought about eight of them. And these, build. you can build up to, and that's what they are, what, what he sends you. And that's with a coat of paint. You don't get the wheels, but very easy. Um, as I say, I'm in the UK, so just a set of um, N-gauge wheels from wagons pop in there. Never had a problem um, with them. Spin, run lovely. And you can do what you like with them. So I would like a bit of a mixed traffic logging layout, so I done these before, I made quite a number of these, but very, very simple, just some, um, you know, just very, very simple Calvin's uh, flatbed wagons, a little bit of chain for couplings, um, just chop some <laughs> dried twigs up from the garden. Um, I made sure, well, when the wife wasn't about, I popped them in the oven, to be honest with you, the twigs to dry them out and they, um, they <laughs> dry out quite nicely. Um, and yeah, just made these three little wagons here. I've always been very honest. I, um, I, don't, I don't know the, a lot of the technical terms. This wagon here, these are, these ones here, sorry, I don't think that's very clear. They're again from Calvin. I'm not sure what they call these. They call bolster, bolster. So I think what it does is that, that they obviously spin. It allows uh, on the real railways. Obviously, it allows longer trunks or wood to be yeah to be to be moved around. I'm not explaining that very well. Anyway, I, want, I didn't want them all to just be wood. So I've got like a couple of little wagon here. Just made some sides. It's just. Um, plastic uh, painted up to, to read uh, these are strips of plastic you can get quite easily Oops, sorry just hit the table and um, I did quite like this one I found this one this red tank that I painted here has got Ford on the side I think it came from an old Airfix model that I had a years ago and it just I don't know it's, it's an interesting one so yeah we've got that down as like a water carrier or or, or something and um, once again, going back to Galvin, these are the other types of wagon seaters. These are, that's how you get them, just like that. Very, very reasonably priced. Even with the shipping um, from America to the UK, they are, yeah, they're, it's pretty, pretty reasonable. So, yeah, just separate those. And there's one I've made, a flat wagon. Now, in this scale, as I say, correct me if I'm wrong, um, gentlemen there, O scale, uh, I believe, and O-N-18. Um, these are quite light. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. I'm gonna have to introduce some weight um, to that wagon. I'd want a gentleman or a traveler sitting in, in there, um, yeah, just hitching a ride really, or, 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 or whatever. But I'm going to have to do something with that one because it is very, very light and uh, I don't think it's, you know, if you've got 
a set of uh, wagons like this, the, the, these are reasonably weighty, and you put this one halfway, you know, down the, the train, uh, it's not going to like it and it's going to fall over. Other ones I've made, crane, um, just bits and bobs really. Um, quite pleased with that one. I did make that one a while ago. Um, that's got some nice weight to it. And also, yeah, another one of, you, you can see there, that's, that's, the, that's the wagon, the, the chassis that you get. Uh, very easy, just put a couple of sides on it, an old barrel. I've got no idea what it's supposed to do, but it, it just looked good. So, Kato chassis in a engine that I got from Shapeways. Now, um, when I put ON18 in Google for a search, the only places I could find at that time um, was a company called Shapeways. I believe they were all individuals going under sort of one banner, but anyway, they've gone, unfortunately. So, um, but some of the Facebook channels that I'm on, um, I think there's quite a few modelers there that have taken up um, the gauntlet, so to speak, because then, you know, Shapeways is no longer around and, um, and they're producing some beautiful models. So in the background, yes, um, that's a, that's a, an O scale wagon that I just thought, well, I quite like the look of that. Um, but I've been built, I've, I've come up with this build, this structure here and the track will obviously come into, come in from this direction here on my finger, if you can see it. And it's going to be a small micro. So I think I'm going to have sort of like a passing loop somewhere, maybe at the back or maybe at the front. And it'll just have a couple of sidings um, with this structure. Um, and I'm going to go for, I mean, I've got like a water tower somewhere in there and a bit of a cabin, but there's not going to be an awful lot. It's going to be like a little halt or something in the middle of, um, yeah, in the middle of nowhere, really. Um, mostly made of um, strips of timber and bits of wire. Um, they look quite good, those struts down. Oh, can you see it? Sorry, I've come out of come out saying, yeah, those struts there. So, yeah, bits of wire and just, uh, yeah, wood. Um, aluminium foiled roof. Um, oh, that's the strips that um, you can get them off of eBay or you can make your own. They're, um, it's just the, the, not the tin foil you use for cooking, it's the tin, it's the foil that if you have like a takeaway meal or something like that, it's just got a bit, you know, it, it, it's a bit stiffer. It's, as you can see there, look, it's, it's a bit stiff. You mean you can bend, okay. Yeah, you can bend it reasonably easy, but um, it's just, yeah, just got a bit more stiffness to it. If I turn it under side, hopefully they, yeah, you can see it's all shiny. Try and lift that up. And I've just literally started um, the paint, to paint the roof there to start to try and sort of get a rusty look. Also along the, the front there, I've started doing that. That's, don't, that is, this, this is not finished. This is just, um, just the starting process. process. Um, what I found is I just sprayed it with a, a, a grey primer, then add a few browns and a bit of black in here. And then I should get some wire wool to this. It's quite good fun actually. And I just sort of go over it lightly and you should end up with some, you know, nice, I don't know if I can do it my finger now, probably not. No, no, I'll probably ruin it. But yeah, just get some shiny bits sort of coming through. Um, so that's what I've been doing really. Um, but I have to say, I went to a model railway um, show. It was only a very, very small one in our local market. And I met a fabulous chap there who's, um, yeah, he really inspired me. Um, Tony Cherry, Cherryingham. And I've been thinking about, I'm gonna bring a picture in here. I've been going back to my old Emmet um, line, which I love. Um, I've got loads of these um, these pictures here. They're from 
I mean, this one here is from the Punch, um, the Punch magazine, summer number, it just says, oh, summer number, June the 23rd, 1947 there. And there's this lovely, um, what do they call it? Porn Mouth Cliff Railway. Um, let's see if I can just pull that a little bit further, further back. Uh, uh, I've always liked that pic this picture, well, I like all of them. Um, and I did think about trying to recreate that. Um, and I don't think I'm clever enough really, or I've lost the enthusiasm. Let's stick with I'm not clever enough. Because I mean, the chassis here is, is, is that's, quite, that's quite interesting really, the, you know, to, to get it to go up here. But concentrating on just that engine there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna build one of those. And um, I had such a good time with this gentleman. I should have asked him really, but I'm going to call it the Charrington because apparently his his um, his family, or his, I think it's his grandchildren. Uh, sorry, my memory's not great. Uh, liked my Emmett layout, so I thought anyway. I had a lovely, lovely chat with him. Really nice guy. He's got a, a lovely layout that he's building, and I'm that's my next. Well, that's going on on with my next projects. So I'm going to start building. Um, this very interesting, what do you call it, a tram? Yeah, it looks like a tram or something like that. Yeah, so that's um, that's going on the list as well, when I can get away from the uh, home uh, renovations, um, which is really quite a mammoth task at the moment. Anyway, I can see the timer there, it's coming up 12 minutes, I've been mumbling away and repeating myself like I normally do. But I just thought I'd show you a clip um, that I haven't packed up. This is what I'm doing. And um, uh, yeah, these two projects will carry on. The ON18 for, that's in America, I believe in, in the UK, it's called 09. But this project will carry on. And I'm also going to start building the, um, as I say, the Charrington. Anyway, happy modeling folks. Take care.